So I was out here tonight uh, taking care of some animals. Had to do something tonight I hate doing. It's one of those things that you just have to deal with, uh, you know, when you're dealing with live animals. I, I ended up having to assist feed a, uh, a little baby ball python tonight. Uh, you know, such is life, uh, you know. So anyway, I uh, thought I'd show off a clutch. As you can see, the rack here, this is our first baby rack, is full, 99.995% full. Uh, I can fit uh, probably two more here and another 6, 12, but I'll show you this. Uh, there's nine animals in that tub there's six animals in that tub six animals in that that tub five animals in that tub and another five animals in that tub no nope, that tub so I got way more than 12 animals and we're building another rack this weekend got another rack coming so you know not too worried about it the rest of those animals are shedding so anyway I thought I'd show off a um, a really neat little clutch uh, that we just hatched out and it's not completely totally hatched out because we've still got one animal in the egg that's yet to crawl out but I figured I'd uh, figured I'd show off what we had hatched out anyway and uh, this is a first for us these are uh, a couple of our first time once again for us uh, hatching out a combo or mutation. We've never hatched this mutation and we've never hatched this combo before. So what we did, we bred a uh, we bred a lemon blast to a normal and we got this. We got two pastels. We actually, we, we really did really, really well this year on the odds. So far we got two pastels. We got one pinstripe which I really I like this pinstripe look at this pinstripe guys look how reduced this thing is look at this he's just got he's just got lines down his back I mean there's you know up here toward the front he's got that standard pinstripey thing you know but down toward his back he doesn't and, and he's still got a little bit of his umbilicus um, hanging on to him that's why I'm being very very gentle with him and then we got a normal, as you can see, good old fashioned normal. But then we got two. The other one of these is actually still in the egg. So, you know, let me get this guy wrangled here. We actually got two lemon blasts. So, this one's a male. I'm really kind of hoping that the other one is a female because I really want to keep a female lemon blast just because of some of the other stuff we've hatched out so far this year. I think uh, a female pastel pin would be just phenomenal. Yeah, look. Yeah, I, I've hatched out, you know, look at this pinstripe. Let me just show you just how reduced this pin is. Look how reduced the snake is. It's just killer reduced. I know I got two lemon blasts in the clutch and I'm I'm you know sitting here geeking out over a over a uh a pinstripe. But I've never hatched pinstripes before and I've never seen pinstripes uh you know this reduced, this nice and reduced. Anyway, so uh, here's a little lemon blast. Really, really neat. So these guys are setting up in their shed box. As soon as that other little uh, lemon blast crawls out of the egg, probably, probably tonight or tomorrow sometime. I'll be honest with you. That's a pretty rocking pastel.
That's a pretty rocking pastel right there. So, this was the clutch. It was a Lemon Blast, again, Lemon Blast to a normal. So count the mutations. Understand we got another Lemon Blast still in the incubator looking to crawl out today, probably tonight or tomorrow. Um, so we got one, two, three, four things that are pastel, and one, two, three things that are pinstripe, and one normal. So you got 50-50 odds, that's about right, and you got one in four, we had six, and uh, we got two lemon blasts out of the clutch, so really excited about this. Alright guys, there you go. Thanks for looking.